name's Anna Main and I am part of the Pear Coffee House community in Alberton. So I grew up in the Netherlands. I um, studied there. I, um, my biggest um, sort of work background is in, in the union movement, um, in the um, trade unions. I used to be an organiser. Um, and I feel like that's basically what I do today. I organise and I connect people and um, that's sort of what led me here. Um, in the Netherlands I met my partner who's Australian um, and after about two years um, we decided to come to Australia and uh, that's where I've been now for the last three years. Um, I, I started off in Australia, I started off working for the YWCA, um, teaching um, girls leadership programs in primary schools. Um, but because I was on a working holiday visa, I had to find another job after six months. And um, that's when I came across this job at The Pair, which was about to open in January 2018. And um, it's what really, I'd, I'd never thought about working in a cafe, but what really attracted me to um, meeting with Christy and Yost was the idea of bringing people in the community together in a cafe space. Um, and they had a, a very clear vision of having activities and events that would enable people to meet each other. And um, I just, I really loved that idea, I really loved the idea of working with community and um, that's what I've been doing for almost three years now. I think what makes the pair really special is that it, there's two things I think. One is that it resulted from a real need within the community and um, Christian Yost had this space, this space that's behind me and they said to the neighbours, look, we, we want to open this space up to the community and what what is it that you want? And everyone said coffee. And so even before this the pair opened, um, everyone was on board. And I think that's that's one thing that makes it really special. It's really, it really belongs to the people in this neighbourhood. And I think the second thing that makes it really special is the generosity of everyone that comes in here. And I mean generosity in the widest sense of the word. Um, people volunteer their time, they come and bring their produce that they've, they've grown in their, their own backyards. Um, they donate clothes and other items and books and um, there's just there's just so many people who bring so much to this place. And I think we, we all get, um, yeah, a lot of great things out of that. Well, I, I strongly believe in social justice and I, from my work in unions, what I experienced was that people individually do so much better when they're connected to other people and I think that's true on a neighbourhood level too. It, it really makes a huge difference in um, people's mental health if they know their neighbours and um, in their experience of living in a neighbourhood and I, I think that's the most, the most important thing that I do here is trying to connect people because it's um, we really are stronger together. Well, my wish is that um, the that there's new initiatives that come out of this um, that span further than um, just this area of Alberton, and that the people in the neighbourhood take ownership of that. And so I hope that it leads to new ideas and new, um, new projects and new events and new opportunities for people to engage with each other and um, with their neighbourhood in a new way. I would tell them, just come in, just come in and 
experience it for yourself and feel what it feels like because you are always welcome and everyone that comes here, all our regulars, will make you feel welcome. Well, the happiest moment in my life was definitely um, recently finding out that my partner's pregnant. Um, that was a very, very happy moment, yeah. <laughs> well, um, without wanting to offend my dad, I'd say the most influential person in my life is my mum. Um, I think I've, I've inherited her beliefs and her work ethic and um, yeah, her, her vision of um, that the world can be a better place and that we all have a role to play in that. Yeah, I think I have my mum to thank for that. If you don't know your neighbours, just go over and say hi, I live next door. Because what COVID has taught us this year is how important it is to have local connections and to be able to call on people if you need them. And, um, you know, you might make someone's day by just going over and introducing yourself. And in the long run, um, our neighbourhoods will be better for it if you do that. <laughs>